here, Crafty Mama ML. It has been a long time since I've done a process video. I miss it. So I'm so excited to be back and in action. I've been off for about a month. Um, I haven't really done any crafting. Life has been crazy and hectic with the girls back in school. Leah started JK, so life has been crazy. I am super excited to be back and um, eager to get started in crafting again. So again, I'm starting with my 8.5 by 11 layout and I use this awesome, it was like a rose gold metallic type of vellum with these um, hearts. But you'll see in the end, I screwed up big time and I left it, well part of it, because I wanted to show you guys. Things happen and um, apparently I wasn't thinking this day. Um, but I am photographing this picture. It is a 4x4 and it's a picture of Mastin and Leah. This is actually a couple years old, um, but it is so beautiful. I love this photo and I've always wanted to scrapbook it and I don't think I ever have. So I was really, really excited to print this out and I knew what I was doing. I wanted to use a lot of soft colors. I wanted just it to be very subtle and simple, but pretty at the same time and I knew I was going to be using the Wonder Collection from Crate Paper. I've also pulled a couple of Crate Paper, um, I forget what line it was, it was the Valentine's Day line which is what those two layers are. So right now um, I'm just going to layer up this photo. I backed it with a white cardstock just so it looks like it has a white um, rim and then I backed it with two pieces of paper. Now I wanted them to be very thin but I wanted you to still see them just for like a little bit of a contrast. And this cut file as well is a Wilna cut file. And it is so beautiful and my Cameo cut it out so sharp and crisp. I think it looks beautiful. I've seen um, a lot of people use this cut and um, they've actually watercolored it and it looked so awesome and pretty. But I actually just cut this with my white cardstock paper. So, so here I am, I'm finding another floral print Obviously this floral is my um, my go-to. I love florals, roses and flowers on layouts. It looks so pretty and soft. I just love the way it looks. So I'm just layering a bunch of layers onto this photo. I just wanted it to kind of, the picture to be the focal point and for it to pop. And I think this is, I, I was able to capture that, what I wanted with all these layers and I think it turned out super cute. So now I think I'm still just cutting these papers up. I guess I could have. There we go. And I tried using that vellum as well in the background, but I realized you don't even see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off. Like I layered it behind the two papers. You can kind of see, there you go. And then I'm ending up just gonna trim it so it goes short again. I thought you could see it, but I think because the pattern paper behind it was so light, it almost looked like that wasn't even there and it kind of just matched in with the background. And I'll tell you this, like you'll see my mess up, but I love this background paper. Oh my God. I literally just got it this day, like that day when I was doing this video and I was excited to put it to use and then I ended up screwing it up. So I'm gonna have to go get another one for sure. So I'm pulling out a gold doily. This was actually um, a doily that I got from Spiegel Mom Scraps when I was on her design team. And I had a couple left cause I've used them like crazy. I love them. And I love how it looks against the white. I don't know, it just looks so pretty. So I'm always one to handy dandy. I use my staples all the time instead of gluing. I don't know if it's being lazy or if it's just trying to save tape. Because as you can see, I use a ridiculous amount of tape on my layouts. Um, I guess I'm just scared they're going to fall apart. So I always want to make sure they're like extra glued. It's ridiculous how much I use. So now I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to put it on the paper and I'm going to get out my chipboard. So this is the Wonder um, Collection. So I'm just looking through the chipboards to see what I can do. But before that, um, this is when I'm going to, um, well right now I'm just looking through some of my little embellishment cases that I've like placed a couple things here and there in these little dishes. but. Um, I'm going to take these tags and I seen this on someone else's layout where she kind of like layers two tags at the top and I just love how it looked. It just looks so cute there. So I kept it like that. And those are actually tags that I cut apart from one of the papers from um, the paper pad from that collection. So this is where the horror story will begin. I start off using my favorite color shine, the gold Heidi Swap spray. And I'm like, well, I'm going to want to make it go faster so it dries 
So I take my heating gun, you guys, hello. Like anytime you take a heating gun to um, an acetate that isn't like an embossing acetate or vellum, the vellum, what happens? It crumbles. I had to edit it out, guys. It warped and then like the middle of my page, it felt like the glue wasn't there no more. So it like bubbled. It was a tragedy and I was so sad. So I also tried like cutting it up to like put it as a background and I just could not get it to work the way I wanted it to work. And I was so bummed. So you're going to see me end up using a white background, but I'm actually going to cut this down just to um, 8 by 11. And then my background behind it will be the 8.5 by 11. So I still stick to my true size, but I just felt like the white wasn't, it wasn't good enough. I needed something behind it. So I'm going to actually use the same, um, the same paper that I used in the background on the last layer. It's kind of like a creamy white color, but it has like blues and yellows. And I wanted that just to kind of pull everything in together now that I don't have that background. So I'm just going to get, oh no, actually now I'm going to just trim it down to size because I messed up. I was so sad, you guys. And while I was filming, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, seriously, this had to happen on film? Like, uh, I think sometimes when I do a process video, it's almost like I'm more nervous, but I always know I can edit things out. So I'm not sure why I get so, I get so nervous, but I do. So this is that 12 by 12 paper. So I'm just going to cut it down to an eight and a half by 11. And then I will mat my white piece of paper on top of this. And honestly, I like, like, I can never just do one paper. Like, I, I like the layers because it makes my pages feel thicker. And again, with me and my glue, I feel like it just makes them safer. Like, they're protected because they're thicker and heavier and, I don't know. I just think crazy. <laughs> so here we go. Oh, and I wanted you guys to know, in the upcoming months, it'll probably be not until the, the new year, just after Christmas, we are switching my scrapbooking room, which will now be my girl's playroom, which I'm super excited. That's going to be their big present this Christmas. Um, we are redoing it, buying a bunch of new stuff, TVs and little organizers for them. And I will be getting a room upstairs, which I will finally have lighting and it will be um, a full covered room and there's hardwood floors. And I'm thinking of painting it a light teal or a light gray. I'm so excited, you guys, and I will probably be getting a new desk coming the new year. So there'll be a lot of changes and room tours. So I'm hoping I can still craft because I'm going to be taking a lot of my scrapbooking stuff out probably in December so I can start painting and um, doing all the renovations in there for them. And it's going to be a total surprise. I already told them they, they know that that might be what's coming, but they will, um, they gave me ideas and everything, but it's totally going to be a surprise and I'm going to have the door closed all the time. So I'm super excited. There's some excited things happening in the Fink household. So now I'm just grabbing the chipboard stickers from that collection and I added up, I ended up putting just that little floral in the bottom corner and um, this little, it almost looks like a, a flare, but it wasn't and it says, my darling. And I ended up using the two little birds, which I think are the cutest thing in the whole collection. I'm not usually a bird lover, but these things are like so small and cute. And I just love the colors of them. And I thought it like the bigger one was supposed to be Madison. And then like the little one's supposed to be Leah. I don't know. I thought it was the cutest thing ever. So um, these are the thickers. I forget what collection this is from. I'm drawing a blank. I think it was... I don't know if that was the Maggie Holmes one. I don't know. I'm not even going to try and guess. And I'm actually sitting upstairs because I'm watching um, my friend's kids. So they're just playing all downstairs. So I thought I would sneak up quickly while um, we just finished supper and put this layout together. So I used the Our Story. And I'm using some basic gray enamel dots that I was actually gifted to by Judy Bakes. She sent my girl some Shopkins, which was super sweet, which reminds me I need to put a little package together for Mr. Aiden. So I am having a heart attack because I have fake nails on. As you can see, I broke two of my nails, so I need to go to the nail salon and get my nails done again. So it looks ridiculous in this video, but 
Um, I'm having a hard time trying to take them off, <laughs> which is why you shouldn't have fake nails while I'm scrapbooking. <laughs> so I'm just going to do that. And then I'm also going to add, um, I already added some gold shine flare or some gold shine. Um, sorry, I'm just reading a text. Some gold shine spray. I can't talk. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to use my Tim Holtz um, tiny text. And I forget what they say, but they all meant something to me. And I'm just going to put a cluster of them in the bottom corner. And I think I use like five phrases or so, but I love how that looks because it kind of like brings your eye. It's almost like everything's diagonal from the enamel dots to that cluster, then to the bottom. And I like that, how that looks in a layout. And then I'm probably going to just do some close ups and that will wrap it up. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is again, Teresa Craft and Mama ML. Definitely check me out on the Crafty Maven design team. It's called the Crafty Maven Getaway. There is like 20 to 30 of us amazing YouTubers who scrapbook every day. Um, every day of the week and it's always different. So definitely check me out over there as well. So have a great night guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye.